Guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. It's gonna be really short. I don't know exactly how long it's gonna be, but it's definitely gonna be under 10 minutes. Um, you're not gonna expect really any graphics. It'll probably just be my face talking, uh, cause I'm I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible before Mass Singer airs tonight. I won't even be watching it tonight, cause I have plans. Um, but I just want to talk about who I think are the true contenders for the Super Six. Now, the structure of Mass Singer 4 is very odd, to put it lightly, and I understand because of COVID, that's to be expected, um, but I just want to, like, say, like, and, like, am I the only one that dislikes how Group A and C have five masks and Group B has six? Like, I don't know. It's just kind of like the, I don't, I don't have OCD, but, like, the, the small, like, OCD inside of me, I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, but, uh, like, I, I mean, like, there could have been four groups of four like season two because there are 16 masks last year and i don't know if it's because snow owls like threw a wrench in the in the like the technicality of of all of that uh but anyways uh nobody has been robbed from this setup yet i think in the past there's been some masks that have been robbed uh because of the grouping but right now how i see it dragon giraffe gremlin baby alien and lips all deserve to go and now what remains are some true contenders for the trophy um basically this is how the rest of the season is going to play out each group will each, group a b and c will remain to face off amongst each other until there are only two left in all three groups i'm fairly certain that that's how it works out but if if there's been recent news that that is not how it's going to work please comment below because i am not i am definitely no joey contino when it comes to um mass singer information uh he's the guy you want to go to for that stuff um so that means that group b will have to perform an extra time because of this uh and then once they get down to two for each group then they it's the super six um, and now this is, I'm going to cover like who I think will make it to the super six from each of the three groups. So making this video is very difficult. It's kind of like walking through a minefield. Um, because like, okay, so the, the day that I'm filming this is November 11th and that is, there's an episode tonight. I believe group C is performing again, I think either that or they're going back to group A. They might actually be going back to group A. But regardless, upon making this video, and I'm going to try to get it put out before uh, tonight's episode, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, Group A is very difficult for me, uh, because, like, Dragon and Giraffe were unmasked early, as they should have, and, I mean, I liked Giraffe, I'll talk about later about how I actually really liked Giraffe, but he definitely needed to go, um, so that leaves Sun, Snow Owls, and Popcorn, obviously, Sun is a lock for the Super 6, she's excellent, um, from her first performance, very good, um, I don't think anyone in the group A can top that. But then the real question is Snow Owls or Popcorn? And I will be honest, I've gone back and forth between who would be the second mask from group A to make it. And right now, I know, like, I love Snow Owls. I really do, but I'm leaning more towards Popcorn, and here's why. A, both, max, ma bleh, both masks are equally good, but it just kind of feels like both the judges and the viewers tend to see Popcorn as a favorite, and the Snow Owls are just okay to them. Basically, I think Popcorn has the popular vote. Um, also, like, everyone loves a good singer that is obviously a little older and a little more seasoned. CB in Season 1 and Flower in Season 2. And I feel like Popcorn's kind of following in those same footsteps. I mean, obviously, the Snow Owls are no spring chickens either. They're definitely much older, um, experienced singers. I don't know, I just feel like, I, I get, the, like, they're both, like, equally good in my opinion. But I just get this vibe off of Popcorn that popcorn's going to be the one that makes it. This one is difficult, too, for me. Group B is very difficult for me, um, as well. Um, as of now, the remaining masks are Serpent, Seahorse, Whatchamacallit, and Crocodile. Uh, this is very sad, because I love Whatchamacallit. I really do. Um, uh, his first performance, one of, like, the best mass Singer, one of my favorite mass Singer performances that I've seen in quite a while. But as I hate to say it, he's no frog. You know, like, frog made it as far as he did, uh, last season because, like, he had this, like, effect on the crowd that I don't think Whatchamacallit does have, and I think that's why he's probably next from Group B to go. Um, and then it's a three-way duel for the two spots, and now, like Sun, I think Serpent is a lock. Definitely his first perform- well, all of his performances have been good so far, but I think he's definitely a lock for the Super 6. And that leaves, once again, it's a toss-up between Seahorse and Crocodile, um, but th for me, at least, this, these two, it's not as close as Popcorn 
and snow owls. But the sad thing is, is like right now, crocodile is probably my favorite mask besides mushroom because he's one of the only masks whose both performances I legitimately loved. Like there's some masks who both performances that they did, I thought they were good. But with with crocodile, both of his performances, I was like, yeah, those, that's really good. I'd, I'd like watch their performance again uh, and, and again and again. Um, the, the thing is, as good as he is, Seahorse had a really promising second performance that would be really hard to say no to if she keeps it up. I just get this kind of vibe um, from her that I don't really get from Crocodile. Crocodile feels like kind of an inferior Rottweiler, which sounds rude, but I just feel like right now, like with a heavy heart, I say that Serpent and Seahorse are going to be the uh, the contenders for the Super 6 for Group B. For Group C, I mean, we literally just saw Group C perform for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and this is another tough one. Uh, lips have been kissed goodbye, and Squiggly Monster has also been uh, unmasked, which I should also interject. I don't think Squiggly Monster should have gone last week. I honestly think it should have been Broccoli, because how I see it, Squiggly Monster, to me, was like this season's taco, and Broccoli was like this season's banana. So if you look back at season three, with taco and banana, well, banana lasted way longer than taco did, but I liked taco more than banana, so like, and I wanted to see Taco last longer, um, and so, I don't know, so this, so that leaves basically mushroom, jellyfish, and broccoli, but this one is easy, because like I said, broccoli, he might be good in, like, according to the judges or whatever, but he's not that good, like, he's fine, he's not that good, though, he's not gonna win the, 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 the golden mask, so it, I, I don't think, I think, I think broccoli is going next, in group C is what I'm trying to say. Uh, um, and mushroom, you know, like mushroom has a really like a huge amount of promise. I really like mushroom. Um, and like, I don't know why people, people say he's, um, someone from Hamilton. Maybe, maybe in a later video, I'll talk about who I thought, who I think mushroom is, who I thought he is. Uh, and then jellyfish, like, honestly, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't think jellyfish is that good. Like, she's better than broccoli, probably, but, like, not the best. Probably, I think, if jellyfish makes it to Super 6, which I think she will, she'll probably be the first, uh, the first unmasking, the first casualty of the Super 6. But, yeah, that's, that's what I think about Group C. So in conclusion, my prediction for the Super 6 is going to be Sun, Popcorn, Serpent, Seahorse, Mushroom, and Jellyfish. Uh, I think it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna be a close season. Uh, I, I think all seasons have kind of had that closeness. Season 1 wasn't super close. Season 2, I mean, there was like Fox and, and, um, and Rottweiler. They were kind of like the, and... And uh, and Thingamajig were like the front runners, and with season three, it was you know like Turtle, Frog, Night Angel were kind of seen as like the three. Uh, but with this season, like I don't really know because Sun's good. Sun kind of at first felt like the favorite to win, and then Serpent kind of jumped in, and now you got like Seahorse, which like is kind of would be like the 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 uh, the underdog. Uh, and now, like, especially now, like, Mushroom, there's all these different masks getting thrown into the ring, um, but yeah, that, that's how I feel about it, but yeah, anyways, comment below, wow, that was, that was an aggressive clap, uh, comment below, uh, what you think, comment below what masks you think, uh, if you think Snow Owls should go instead of Popcorn, say that, because I kind of believe you, but also, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it, I'm torn, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.